headed somewhere in a hurry. Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, mm -hmm. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Headed. Over toward Malakwan Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump, you ask how high. It's not how it is. Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working on the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at, uh, by Adrian, on the Idaho border. I spent summers working the beet fields. Yeah, a little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that day close, whatever happens, don't let him see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. I haven't heard that for a while. Yeah. Hey, let me know when the LZ's locked down. There it is. Set up the perimeter. Jesus. I want it tight. Never thought I'd see one of those clear. again. Here, yeah, I mean. All right, now watch. The soldiers come out first, they secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out and he looks around. To do what? Science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? The one who's been spying on them. Okay, on, wait here. Out. You got it. All good. Clear. samples. You mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, so you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. <laughs> Please don't interrupt. <laughs> as well as manicious berries I thought I heard something. Commonus. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the free...
need the area secured now. Listen up. I want this perimeter locked down tight. You guys got that? Let me know when it's clear. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished. Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien oh, said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? Yo. Shit. 
Gotta stop doing that. That you got. All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, uh, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so... So she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. Oh, I right. know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, we would already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, god damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Shit. <sighs> right. Booze man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. It's gotta be his. Okay. Let's take a look around. What the hell is this? What do we got? Uh, this way. Still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the... Great, let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go, alright?
Deke, over here. Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't, we can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't, we can't do it. Here, here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, I see, it's okay. All right, just oh, let Jesus, me. Deke. It's okay, just, that's it, all right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Sounds disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know. If you hadn't made this shit for me, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I, mean, I guess I'd be. I know. You know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, what go? You know, goddamn well, you're getting the spacesuit. What'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stay down, brother! Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time, so don't you think that you've mourned her long enough? I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shit, Paul. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. 
Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? You just had a run-in with... Hey, where the hell is your bro? He skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? We just, just shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Oh, goddamn Schizo. You guys, come on, keep working, keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. That's it. Hey, thanks for the ride. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. Hey, they... Uh... Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Deke, I told you. I mean, just listen. Guys no, Mike. Back, they were here you know, in Rogue Camp. Nice. Rogue Camp? There were Female. Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. We got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. We'll find out what the hell is going on in it. You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos. Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, D. Like I said, my treaty is going to hold Lost Lake out. Now, whatever you say, Mike. You say, excuse I was right. You're gonna get everyone killed. Deacon St. 
John. This is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike. This is Dee. I heard you tracked down Hart. I was hoping you'd bring him in for trial. Well, sorry, Mike. He, uh, le let's say the Swarmers had other ideas about that. Oh, shit. Ricky didn't tell me that. Hump wasn't the kind of man you turned your back to, but he didn't deserve to go out like that. Ah, uh, I guess not. Uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back either. job for me, so okay, I'll stop by, dig it out. Ah! Deke, where you at, brother? Hey, loser, I'm, uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided, hell, it's like you said, I've, uh, I've mourned her long enough. It's, um, time to say goodbye. You heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear. Deke, get out. God damn it. Deke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Go, oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Don't bother trying to find out. Get yourself killed. Let's see. Besides, what I can we do. already know. I've been watching them skulk around. Thinking they know these woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering the food. Son of a bitch! Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably try to get a when the feds can re-emerge from their hidey holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. The longer they're here, the longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore. But thanks to the freaks, it doesn't... We really pissed off everyone, on both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> the 
This ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, let me, let me just go. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Addy, so you there? Coming. Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Glad you're still breathing. I'm here. Addy, good, good. Look, um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. You, uh, need a refuel? All right, I got you. See you later, Deke. You got what you need? Yeah, everything I could think of. Let's go. You sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at Lost Lake, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one 
problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here. Shit. Swarmers. I was hoping it was going to be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope. But there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! <laughs> if you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks! I'll try to keep that in mind. Got him! Nick! Try him! God damn it. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Okay, how the hell did... It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Wow. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Yeah. 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 
Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's uh she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Yeah, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh. that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus, okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just huh? Sh hang on. There, it's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh... Remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh... I'm not sure that, uh... Well, I hear that Addie doesn't really like, um... people messing around in her business. Yeah, I... I heard that, too. What about this one? <sighs> I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome.
Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he he's, okay? Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. 